Hey, what's up guys? DBL here. And we're reliving the glory days of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare right here on Wet Work. You know, the one and only stage where I actually use Call of Duty 4's night vision goggles. I always thought the NVGs were a really weird addition to a multiplayer game. I mean, you get them in single player mode, and of course you do use them in single player mode. There's a lot of dark stages in the, the uh, single player story mode for this game. But for multiplayer, it just seemed kind of out of place. And generally, for the most part, I don't see anybody ever use these things on, uh, on COD 4. But I do use it on wet work, because this is one of the darker stages. And you know, in that regard, the NVG seemed like a really simple, and watch this guy, I totally should have just let go of that grenade. Wound up taking a sniper shot to the face, and you know what, I kind of deserved it. But adding night vision goggles seemed like a really simple addition to a multiplayer game, which really makes me think about COD 4 as a whole. And look at this fella right here, trying to go into ghost mode, but we don't let that happen. And hold up, because we're not done. Gonna pick up a nice little double kill from the RPG bros sitting over here behind the stairs. Getting ourselves pushed towards that nice UAV radar. But as I was playing me some Modern Warfare 1, something really struck me. We of course had the Advanced Warfare multiplayer reveal earlier last week. And of course along with that came a bunch of new revelations about crazy game modes. We have the exoskeleton. We have all these kinds of super crazy advanced technical techniques or whatever you want to call them being introduced to the Call of Duty franchise. You know, not just with Advanced Warfare, but with a lot of the more recent games in the Call of Duty franchise. You know, Ghosts introduced a ton of new things like seeing through walls, the guard dog, you know, Black Ops 2 had a bunch of crazy kill streaks, stuff like that. So when I came back to Modern Warfare and started just playing it, what really struck me is how simple the game is. You know, there's no advanced UAVs, guard dogs, uh, oracles letting you see people through walls or any of that. For the most part, it's just you, your gun, and the other person. And every once in a while, if you're good enough, a UAV, an airstrike, and an attack chopper. But overall, again, the game just feels much more simple. Like, you can just pick it up and play and not really have to worry about anything too advanced. And we just had to take a risky maneuver there. I worked my way into the enemy spawn base and uh, got pretty much all up in their business. Had to call in an airstrike on myself. That's why I stayed in the building there. But we did manage to pick up that chopper. And we're going to keep that bad boy in our back pocket until a little bit later. But as I was saying, this game's simplicity is really a thing of beauty in my opinion. You can just come in after any amount of time, pick the game up, and play. And you know, I really kind of found it as a relief that I didn't have to strategize so much uh, with the perk setups and the class setups. You know, for example, I didn't have to throw on something like Flak Jacket to uh, counter, counter explosive damage, although Martyrdom plus Sonic Boom is still, oh man, such a headache and such a, such a street killer in this game. But I don't have to throw on something like Dead Silence just to counter people with Amplify. You know, in terms of guns, I don't have to worry about, you know, a, a, a thermal scope. Somebody with a thermal scope sitting in a corner just waiting for me to walk past. Although, being honest, the thermal scope would probably be really helpful on this stage. And of course, the kill streaks in this are the same for everybody. It's just a really simple UAV, airstrike, attack chopper. And again, it felt like it always feels like coming home whenever I go back and play COD 4. And I mean, of course I love the advancements that the series has made since Modern Warfare 1, you know. Modern Warfare 2 did such a great job of expanding upon the systems and the framework that was brought together in Modern Warfare 1. And you know, I do believe that that framework, you know, that template has been improved with every Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 1. You know, with the additions of new more effective perks, all kinds of new crazy weapons, and of course the killstreaks that are in some of these later games are absolutely amazing. I love all that. But every once in a while, it's nice to get back to basics. And for me, there's nothing more basic and more welcoming than God 4 Modern Warfare. It really is a game that I can just pick up at any point in time and play. And I honestly do believe it is that simplicity that makes this game so accessible for me. And you know what? Of course, that might not be the same for everyone. A lot of you guys might never have played God 4 Modern Warfare. After all, this game did come out seven years ago, which is pretty long in game terms. Although I'd say the game has held up pretty well. And we've definitely had quite a few Call of Duty games since Modern Warfare. And hopefully future games in the franchise, including Advanced Warfare, will be able to carry out that same spirit. You know, that same sense of simple fun that personally I get whenever I play Call of Duty. To the back into the match here, kudos if you noticed it, but I never actually used my first attack chopper. I just kind of held on to it and completely forgot about it to be honest. Although to make up for it, I have built up to a second attack chopper. Although it's probably too late in the game for me to actually use it. 
So take that as a lesson, kids. When you're playing Modern Warfare, always use your kill streaks. Don't hold on to them too long, or else you may forget about them. And that's not exactly something I'd recommend you do often. Anyways, the match is wrapping on up, which means we are winding on down. And check this guy just laying down prone inside the crate. I think he might have sensed that the end was nigh and he was just trying to find a safe place. But alright, that sums up how I feel about God 4. If you've got a different opinion, let me know in the comments section. I think the game is simple, and that's part of what makes it fun. We did wind up going 27-3, and 3, so not bad at all. Alright, that's going to be it for this one guys. If you liked what you saw here, feel free to check out my channel where I've got a ton more gaming videos coming out soon. Anyways, that's it for this one guys. As always, I am the Black Link. You guys stay frosty.